Welcome everybody to another exhibition match. Today I'm joined by ADB. Hello everybody. And the two players competing today are Herb Derp and Bobby. So two newcomers to the exhibition series of 2023. Yep. Um, it's a bit weird to call them newcomers, but I, I see your point. <laughs> yeah. So we're going for a best of three and uh, Insta maps as well. So. Lineups have been created either blindly, like Bobby did, without knowing the maps. Yep, no, no preparation, which is, I gotta say, pretty relaxing as a, as a format, because yes, you have to be competitive, but you also don't have to prepare in advance. It's To me, it's just a perfect set for an exhibition. Yeah, I think I did it. No, that's good. That's good. All right. Yeah, and we're going to uh, Australia standoff, kind of, again. Mm, but I feel like the map has proven itself to be pretty reliable in terms of um, even matchups. It's not like um, you get a big advantage just by having first turn or having a stronger lineup on this one. Yeah, I mean, the crates are pretty much all healing weapons, except the, the middle one, which is very odd one, like very standing out as a TNT. Yeah. But uh, it's definitely new ground for both of these guys, because uh, Herb Derp is... Um, this is his first match, uh, competitive match, after Hogs of War League 2022. And uh, if we're talking Bobby instead, uh, which I think skipped completely to 2022 season, the, the last match he played was in Hogs of War League 2021, so... Yeah. It's interesting to see uh, how they will uh, perform once again. Yeah, a bit of a bad cluster, but that's to be expected with the connection issue. Which uh, is a good uh, incentive to remind everybody that Herb Derp is uh, basically the only non-European player uh, in the competitive circuit. He plays from the USA, and he plays with, somehow, he plays with uh, 200 ping. Yeah, so far which today has been believe. pretty good at 150 for his um, standards. Yep. But, but um, well, he and. Wow. Very good. Nice. Shrapnel Very there. nice. Long range 50 shrapnel for Bobby. Seems like he hasn't lost his touch. Yeah. I was going to say, like, he and also Mephisto with this high ping proof that um, you can also. And of course, Fox. Uh, even with the high ping, you can uh, be a very dangerous player. And. Uh... Uh, yeah, I would say Mephisto and uh, Herb Derp are. The ones with the most like distance issue. Yeah. So. It's it's interesting because uh, Mephisto is more like very straightforward player, just focusing on damage. Meanwhile, Herp Derp is a bit of a mixture. He's a uh, yes tactical, but he doesn't like poison, for example. Like he's a very hard player to read. I used to say that he's uh, the one I'm almost, almost always scared to play against because it's all—it's very hard to just fool him. Yeah, he's uh, in the last league, um, also got quite a couple of wins. Like, even though he didn't uh, qualify for the top eight. Yeah, I think he got two wins against uh, Revan and Jay Warren, I think. So two wins out of out of six. Yeah. Meanwhile, Bobby uh, has never managed to qualify to uh, a playoff of any league he has participated in, although he has gone extremely close a couple of times. Yeah, let's see what uh, next Grand League has in store for him. Oh yeah, that's true, forgot to mention that. He's playing in the next uh, Grand League Summer, so he's got a chance to redeem himself and maybe jump back into Hogs War League. So, you can already see Bobby paying close attention to that skip on the other side. Oh yeah, he's gonna clear the trank. Yeah, so far very Which, good. Uh, I'm not sure why Herp Derp didn't go for the other medic. Maybe it was too far. I, I wasn't paying attention in that turn, to be honest. But also, Bobby fails to fire a trank of his own, and that means that Herpeter will have a clean MoMA in his next turn. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Kind of a missed opportunity there. Good on the heal. Um, 
Herbtop does have the advantage with this lineup here. He has the couple with the Grenadier and the Medic, so oh. he has the bigger damage output and the tactical advantage of the scout. And also, he doesn't seem to want to wait for the MoMA. He's just attacking the Medic. <laughs> it could actually result in the body block. Or See. maybe he just wants to pair them together so that um, the Trank will make him stuck there. And uh, Bobby, like, Herpterp has a chance to hit them both. Hmm. But I think the, the scout will move soon, so that, maybe that's not the case. See, Herp, uh, I'm not Herpterp. Bobby going for the other crate here. Which is going to be another self heal. Yeah, and that's, What is he uh, gonna do now? Tough decision, yeah. Um, oh. Okay. Okay, that, that's, that's actually not a bad decision considering the situation there. Yeah, fair game. Although he has kind of grouped up three pigs on that one island. Yeah, but Bobby Jim is very hard to hit. He is, he is. Let's see. And. Herptop? <laughs> Thinking about aligning that shot. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm just. Uh... Just saying, like, when you have three seconds to f get a bazooka out and pick a target, I guess regaining 50 health is probably a better choice. Yeah. Now Bobby gets to move away his scout, which uh, was tranquilized a long time ago. Oh, yeah, uh, Herterp's orderly is also kind of low, so I, I can't tell how the, the medic situation is going to end here. Oh, yeah, there's also this guy. Well, if Bobby commits, he has a Sapper next, uh, so he could get go for a shotgun kill on that medic, getting him out of the way. He doesn't have a scout, right? Mm, he does, but he just had a strength, so... Oh, okay, that's right. Not really that big of an option. Ooh, nice body block here from uh, Herb Derp, taking the last pick that just moved, so that means that Bobby's going to painstakingly have to wait to hit him if he doesn't win, if he doesn't want to hit his own scout. Yeah, the incredible damage there, what, 111? That guy must have been Oh, yeah, yeah, health. yeah. So yeah, this turn basically tips the scale uh, a lot in favor of Herb Derp. Ooh, on that range, are you sure? I think that's just enough and you, you need it probably needed to like um, angle it a little bit a little bit higher. Yeah, you, you need needed it. three hits to kill him there. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> so don't think that was worth the risk. Now he gets another heal and a crank. I guess you could have just shot uh, either a shrapnel or, or a grenade launcher if you wanted to make sure. Yeah, he's been Bobby has been very proficient with his uh, um, long range um, shells. Like uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's pretty he's pretty good with mortars in general and just uh, fire range weapons. I mean, he does play the PC version a lot, so yeah. So it's it's, it's not the kind of guy you can uh, criticize his technical skills, probably. So we also close range mortar here. Her dry is also extremely healthy here. So, yeah, it just looks like Bob uh, Herpterp has got it in the back, but it's fair because again, he was uh, he was the one going in with an advantage here. Yeah, he had first turn plus stronger lineup. You can see the health bar um, before that mortar hit. Yeah, oh, that was a very good one. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty decent mortar. I think it's a bit too early to call, but uh, let's see if he, need, he needs to do something about that Grenadier. If that Grenadier gets like two more turns, he will probably get one anyways because of the body block. Yeah, I think that, that will be enough because that will be his third cluster already. If he Just just if he gets another one turn. Yeah. And uh, just uh, basically the paratrooper when 129 is the only super healthy pig for... For Bobby, except for the scout, yeah, I guess. But uh, yeah, one big hit with the grenadier would just close it. Okay. Ooh. That could have even bounced off to the other two guys. But yeah. That is a fair, cho fair choice, I guess. But he needs to fire a jetpack in a good way. That should set them apart. 
Yeah, close yeah. that up a bit. He could get a double hit if he plays it right here. Like maybe making the scout. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is not the way. Oh, yeah, and that's turn over. Oh, basically. maybe, maybe. On seven seconds, really? Oh, yes. Wow. Okay, well, on that, yeah, in that case, yeah. But, well, just that's because he detonated so early that uh, the, the parachute time was very low. And also, by choosing to not go for a bazooka, which would have been a dead uh, yeah. a dead sentence for his turn, he had enough time to shoot. Although, yeah. he did do that. <laughs> the target has never been clearer, yeah. Um, and and uh, Can I just say, like... Again, that Herp Derp is playing with an insane ping and he just did a yeah. double 40. Like that, just out of nowhere. Double 40 on that range with like a bit of a height difference. Perfect head on. Uh, and with a bazooka, so you have to count the input lag too. Yeah. Okay, trying to get some funny business going with the uh, double poison here, but... In, in every league so far, Herp Derp has been the kind of guy that uh, is extremely unpredictable with his results. He can very much beat at anyone, in my opinion. He just uh, tends to lack the the consistency to get enough points to, you know, get to the highest places. He has only failed to qualify for playoffs once, but he always uh, got to the playoffs um, in a very low position when he got there. Yeah. And which is also due to like input lag, which tends to I mean, ruin yeah. some matches. Uh, just to remind everyone, uh, the current uh, Hogs of War League champion qualified from the group stage as fourth place, so. Yeah, indeed, yeah, and in the last match of that group stage as well. Yeah, and we remember how he, he did. So. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. So. He's... Well, he still has the medic going. He could get some body blocks going here. Oh, I yeah, he still has all three of his strengths. Yeah, there's still potential for a comeback due to this guy and the poison and stuff. Where's the grenadier again? Uh, there he is. On the left side. Oh, right there. Close to water, so... Extra damage potential is... Uh, no. That's a go, suicide. No. You probably don't want to go for it. Yeah, that's just... Uh... Yeah. Well, it's like that crate is there for like telling who who collected it before and who didn't. Yeah. Still not going for the grenadier here. Doing some self damage in the process. Oh, and and Herpter still has a gunner still on top of the pillar. Yeah. Just throwing stuff out of the, out of everyone. And there's four pigs that are fairly healthy and yeah, never mind. Why not go for the medic though? He is or. Skip range, I believe. Oh, that I thought he was gonna go for a crazy double here, but was that a misclick? It looked like like he didn't want to do that. But Did it? It was pretty fast, but I mean, it won't break. It won't change anything anymore. I mean, you telling it definitely made me doubt it, but on first glance, I didn't think it was a. It was, it was just very quick. Like maybe he was very determined to to use the cell field, but. I didn't see the point for it. Uh, my, the medic was oh. right there for the turn skip. Oh, I guess protecting himself from the fi oh yeah the fire of the gunner there, but that doesn't manage to fire. I could have fired a poison there. It would have been very useful against the forty-six sapper. And Herpderp decides to take his crown down. That probably won't work enough. Oh no, wait, that's low. Yeah, Sorry. he was on 25. That's. Yeah, I guess just... that pretty much seals it. Yeah, it's just cleaning up now for, uh, for Herpderp. Missed the jump for Bobby, too. Oh, the, 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 th the guy is poisoned. Uh, how much is he on? Like 120 or something. He was, oh, okay. He was very healthy. Let's check. Oh, 84. Oh, 84. Yeah. Still. I guess fair enough going for the water damage here. Although he's out of clusters, so. Oh, how oh is my. he standing yeah. there? What the f <laughs> Some of those spots are really funky on that water, but. Uh, unfortunately, a 59 is just. Uh, Perfect for the Grenadier as a number. 
And Bobby is left with one scout. One against the world. Guy. Yeah, one blue guy and two forties for for an end, basically. He's on eighty. Yeah, seventy-six or something. Yeah. He could maybe play it out with poisons or something, because he still has a chance to. In my opinion, he could play out with his turns and just do do that. Yeah, I don't know if it's a correct turn to do it. Well, it I mean, comes... yeah, fair enough. The sapper <laughs> would have done big damage anyway. Okay, they're gonna drag this out. I that guess. that is actually. Uh, I don't think it would have been needed, but it pretty much seals it completely. Yeah, Scout can't hit double hits with 40, more than 40 damage, so the double heal is basically the best yeah. way to go here. And I, I guess he would have still had to waste a poison to, to hit the Sapper too, but still, they have more health now. Also, I have to appreciate the math there. I think Bobby somehow made the, both of this, those two picks the same exact number <laughs> um, amount of health. Yeah. That, that, is, that is amazing. I think I saw a double 71 there. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. It was. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, uh, Bobby should have probably kept his... His... his um, what's the name? Uh, medicine ball, because of that. Hmm. But yeah, again, does there does a gunner with still full health? I don't see how it could possibly. Yeah, it's the gunner that really seals. I mean, this, maybe. maybe it's the gunner's turn now. Body block the scout, and yeah, you need a double poison here to get at least one forty. You skip. could get a triple. Oh, okay. okay good okay. enough though. Yeah, yeah, good, good try. So. You get some more kills for this. Yeah, but that's uh, that's about it. Yeah. Any any kind of hit will make it so Bobby doesn't ha just doesn't have enough turns left to deal. Also, the uh, grenadier will be next first, so. I mean, if he wasn't poisoned, he could just chain a couple of skips now. Yeah. That's six air gems needed, and that's not gonna happen. Nope. That's a uh, uh, yeah. Well, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop him. Is he gonna do it? I would be funny if he did. Okay, no. Okay, <laughs> he's doing it. Yeah. Ironically, that's not that's not gonna kill any of them, either of them, or maybe. Oh. Okay, the Grenadier's dead. So, yeah. Very Raptor good place. Takes game one. Very good place for Herptop indeed. Um, totally fine. Yeah, yeah, he is a good the, pro player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say the turn advantage, not the turn advantage, the, the lineup advantage uh, did most of the heavy lifting because Bobby didn't really play well a couple of, apart from like. Uh, some interesting choices uh, that uh, maybe could have prolonged the game a little bit, but he, he was in the, in a very hard matchup to begin with, so no 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 blame on him. Yeah, uh, still like for his first match in a long time, uh, he, he showed uh, promise, and um, let's see how it will play out on the second map, which will be uh, bridge the gap. Oh, nice, my favorite. We are back to bridge the gap. Um, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> this one's gonna be a long one again, I guess. Uh, you can see the lineup from Herptip here, going with power first, possibly aiming for the um, the box on his left side or right side. And um, yeah, probably going with very much different, more scout focused lineup. Also. That is a. An extremely interesting lineup, like Scout in first and last, and then a Grenadier in fourth. Yeah, I mean, Scout in first I get, due to the Immortals being available. Um, Grenadier has been odd uh, since forever on this map, but they have their place I mean, somehow. 
on on a on, on in a way it does make sense to bring him on uh, bridge the gap in a best of five, but in a best of three, it's very like bold as of choice. Yeah, well, he, he also didn't change his lineup for uh, the maps when we were not when we pulled them. So. Oh, he just had them. Yeah, yeah, pre, yeah. pre done. Oh, okay, that that makes more sense. So he hasn't prepared this lineup for this map at all, but hmm. it might work out. Let's see. He is very skilled with his mortars, though, so... Well, let's see him use the cover for this. Meanwhile, Herpderp is very, very afraid of this map. Yeah. Although it's all down to preparation, I guess. It's it's one of those things that uh, you, you dread having to play it, but when, you, when you're watching it, it's a whole other story. I mean, and I'm the old one on that one, because... I really like to play it. Yeah, playing it is a uh, playing and watching it. I feel like is a good experience. Uh, it you you kind of have your fate in your own hands. There's no way you can even like remotely blame it on the map or first turn or anything else because everybody kind of starts with the same arsenal due to the crates and both players having these boxes and stuff. It's all down to strategy. Yeah, like I said many times. Uh over the course of uh, our tournaments is just bridge the gap. I, I love it because there's so many different approaches you can take on it. Mm -hmm. You can uh, full attack, you can hide in the crates and just long distance your airburst, you can mortar, you can try to throw people down and poison them, just so many different ways to approach it. And it's just sometimes you get caught off by it. The, the, the thing your your opponent does. Nice oh, that's a short. It's short, but we'll hit it. But oh. somehow the the line of sight was uh, with uh, the guy, like the, the explosion. Because uh, I think that's how damage works in this game. If there's like a direct obstacle between the explosion and the pig, uh, you don't you get no damage. That was a fast shot. <laughs> and that <laughs> was. I'm surprised it didn't get any extra from the crate. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe it was just too far away. But uh, yeah, yeah to <laughs> knew that one. He was like, okay. I know yeah, what to just, do. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> oh, Bobby can do the same. I always find this strategy of putting yourself on the bridge uh, a little odd. But I guess it makes sense to do it with a, with a gunner. Yeah, if you Bobby's... don't overdo it with like uh, dropping pigs down there, you can get still hit out with the jetpacks at some point. Yeah, and also it is a bit dangerous to uh, like you get ver a very easy to hit with a poison or something. Yeah. Bobby is shooting uh, all pretty sh short mortars, which is surprising. But I guess he will adjust his aim during the course of the game. I'm, I'm just just down the middle, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's all unlucky. Yeah. yeah, it just. It's just painful to look at an explosion that, like, the same amount of distance from three different pigs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a, very curious about what he will do with his grenadier. I mean, that is a fair choice. If he manages to get in there and fire an airburst, that is a dangerous uh, pig for Herpner, because... Because the Grenadier being in here means you are not coming on my side. Yeah, it's also like these guys turn into... Um, nice shot. These guys turn into late uh, stage pigs almost every time when they hide in the yeah. box. They rarely get focused so early on. And uh, yeah, and, and taking a Grenadier to the late game is just not yeah. something you hear every day. And it's honestly a scary thought. Indeed. After doing the same with his own gunner, and uh, I guess it's not that hard to learn the shot to hit from crate to crate, from box to box, I mean. That's a bit short, though. Yep. But uh, again, these guys are not playing with uh, any, uh, playing without any preparation, so I highly doubt that's going to be easy to get that grenadier. 
Yeah, Bridge the Gap also is like one of the maps you train beforehand, maybe for a match, and then you never play it again for like half a year, and then it suddenly comes back up again, and you're like, okay. I yeah, have... it's because you, you can train other maps in like a tactical way, but this one you just have to practice long range shots. There's no there's no sugar coating it. Yeah. Indeed. So several time. What's his plan? There's still mortars left there, so Taking away the crate that could potentially explode next to that guy. So good move. Yeah. It's always a good and, move. And uh, going with a shrapnel on the bridge guy? Okay. Makes sense. If no you spot. get the opportunity to get him down there into the pit, you should use that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that Bouncy thing's... shrapnel only does 30. Yeah. And those bridges are made out of paper or something. Must have like 20 HP. Yeah, it's pretty weird, but also the buildings... Not the buildings, but the wall pieces and doors and everything work in a very strange way. Like, I remember, for example, there's a one of the doors in the campaign that if you hit it with two shra two jetpacks, not even, like, dead at dead center, it mm. explodes all the time. Meanwhile, if you hit it with a sniper rifle, it doesn't fall down. <laughs> That's odd, yeah. Also, wow, that is... Oh. Dead on, almost too much dead on. Failed the potential for an extra damage on that. But I think that wasn't a scout that that got thrown down right now. That right? Um, might have been, yeah. Robbie has two of those. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, no worries. Um, yeah, Let's I wonder see if, if, if if Pin can adjust the help of those bridges. I, I mean, it's not that needed of a change, but it's weird that those bridges give in so fast. Like, Yeah, for I think it's very hard to do that, because, for example, the uh, just those extra wall pieces that he added yeah. uh, to prevent pigs from falling down turn one, these are very fragile. Yeah, well, and we... also, <laughs> when you think about Barnyard Blitz, for example, we tried so many things but apparently he just can't make them indestructible oh he did definitely um i i mean i should know but um yeah he, he did make some of them indestructible not all of them but some really are Which... indestructible now so it's maybe a case like it's also these, oh, well that, uh... that i guess that's the thing why would he make just some of them indestructible i guess there's must be some kind of like limitation to it yeah that makes it not possible for every single one what and the that hell is a clip through that is a clip through bazooka that kills herman inside from inside the crate that was a magic trick from bobby there right there okay i've never seen that <laughs> like ever before i was half expecting it as soon as i saw the shot approaching the, the crate i don't know how but <laughs> yeah that's a big how does it even work like i've never i know the, the laser revelation I had is that roller grenades can, like, roll through those walls, but I've never seen... Ooh. Oh my god, that's another one right away! Okay. The same thing just happened again! I think I think that I know how, how it happens. It's just the shot explodes right inside the wall, so it, like, the damage line goes both inside and outside. I think that's how it works. Yeah, it looked like it kind of went right before the like right before the uh, wall so it explodes underneath the wall which makes it um, work on both sides like the i remember image. doing uh, bobby doing a 90 a 90 mortar uh, in a in a league game like that on bridge the gap okay, and there you see the dangerous grenadier getting his cluster in after all and that's a very deep fall now but no fall damage i was expecting some and right away, this turned into a very interesting game. Because yeah. now pigs are falling down, but uh, as pigs fall down, they are more subject to close range combat, which is important because there's sappers and grenadiers in the mix. Yeah, this picked up the pace very fast, like with those uh, shots that bucked through the walls. Um, immediately, they went into full gear with those. 
I would even dare to say Herpter was lucky to get that back-to-back -back, uh, magic shot, because um, well, it if was he both didn't... players, right? Both players got one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying Herpter was a bit lucky to get it right after Bobby's, because otherwise the momentum would have much been on Bobby's side. Yeah. So four HP guy here. What's he gonna do? Still two jetpack crates on the left side there. And if you ask me, that's a pretty big opportunity miss for Bobby. He Wait, what how how low was he on health? Was like 30, 30? 34 or something, yeah. Makes sense if he wants to get those jetpacks, but because now uh, Herpter basically has to get in or destroy them. Which yeah, might... yeah, I, I thought, uh, my bad, I thought that he had way more health, so I was like, he has to poison him to steal. Oh my god, crates, but what a Never shot. mind! Yeah, these guys... That was also a very weird one, because I think that the crate explosion shoved him away, he got that extra five, and then like, negated yeah. any extra damage. Yeah, these guys have been popping off so far with these shots. Like, there were some misses at the beginning, but so far they're going back for back at it. Oh, wait for Ooh, the blimp. Watch for the blimp. Watch for the blimp. I think yeah. he saw it. Uh, it's just... Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Okay. I was just about to say, it's just... Very cool to see these kind of players uh, battle it out on on with these these shots. Like that makes me uh, hopeful that when we eventually get to see some high level players try the new over the top. Look at, look this, at this! Like it's real. Even in pro league, you rarely get to see such accuracy with these mortars on bazookas on this map. <laughs> it's just like shot after shot in a row. That's just beautiful to see. Like, like I was saying, it makes me hopeful that we would, when we eventually get over the top played by two hot top tier mortarers, I guess, we will actually see a, 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 an amazing game. I mean, this is already an amazing game. Yeah. If, Risky if positioning it, here for Bobby, but another uh, pretty decent shot. Bit of a grouping up there, and that mortar shell kind of went off. I thought it would hit another time, but never mind. Uh, scout with a mortar, so Herpterp has to take a chance. I see that aiding on the Grenadier, and he yeah, might have his turn coming up. I was thinking that now, and oh yeah, there's jetpacks down there. That's that's a got new... blinded by those two, and he might even hit the below one, which also was Bobby's. I thought it was Herpterp's. Oh, but he destroyed one of the jetpack crates. Yes. Got one out of the way. It looks like they're just going for the shots right now. It's not even thinking about doing anything else. Yeah, it's just... I, be, I think they got in a trance, like... Yeah. I'm, I'm, you are hitting, so let's just keep going. Yeah. And uh, Bobby going up with a gunner, which, if you ask me, that's a mistake, because I could have done it with the Grandier, and also, it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to shoot. Oh. Never mind, okay. <laughs> Just last second. Oh, oh my god, if he hits. Yeah, good. Wow. Hit. With that time pressure, that's fine. Now he needs to get rid of the Grenadier or just keep his distance from him, since how is he going to reach? I would hold on on the mediocre hit, because I want to look at the health of this guy. Uh, oh no, yeah, he's below 20, he's uh, between 20 and 25, because he didn't do the animation, but he's limping. Oh yeah, 25. Could get a... Which, which means that he is, a, he is now poison range. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Gets a clean 40 on this, maybe a future jetpack kill. The problem is, what do you do with the Grenadier now? Yeah, that's that's always biggest problem. Oh, he has, still has the errors, so even if he doesn't reach with the Grenadier. Oh, that's grenades. right. Wait, does he have... Yeah, does he, he, has, has, a he has a jetpack. Oh. Because he collected it in the crate. <laughs> that was my bad. I completely forgot about it. And... Okay. Okay, yeah, that does uh, save him from the poison, but that's still going to be a pretty big turn if he manages to throw a cluster at the other guy. Yeah, this pretty much seals it. If he can, I believe the other scout is on full health, but... Ooh, oh, don't do no. that! Okay. Oh, no, that's a huge mistake. Yeah, huge missed huge opportunity. Missed opportunity. Because at that point, you didn't even need the jetpack. 
And it's the guy's full health. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. That just yeah. hurts now, okay. That might have given Herb Derp uh, a lead, even. Yeah, and that guy's also full health, yeah. So it's just one of those two guys would have been. Yeah, he got tunnel vision. He got he hit the the guy with five HP when there were two hundred and forties and you he was controlling a Grandier. But he's still up two pigs, so Herb Derp needs to do a bit of cleaning up to win this match. So let's see. I guess maybe. so. It's gonna be it's it's uh, annoying when there's so many p pigs with uh, low health, but at the same time they're kind of not very useful for Bobby. He might be in line of sight. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. Very good uh, awareness of his surroundings. That's uh, that's a pro sniper right there. Yeah. We found the position to hit from. And that also, also, he basically gave the airburst to to to, to, to the scout as well, so he can maximize his damage output. Yeah, this. I think this... that's the last chance that Herpter has to hit both of these. But he's just aiming for one. Gets it. And yeah, that's a fair hit. Just Oof. five on the other one. This guy's still heavy as well. Like the health uh, advantage is still there for Bobby, but he needs to make his shot counts now. Yeah, it's just he could have just ended it there with yeah. that hit. Well, maybe not, because there would have still been one guy with full health, but, you know. Yeah, but getting the... Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe getting the scout out of the game could even erase all poison. Yeah, yeah it's just exchanging a five damage move with a, a potentially hundred one is just not a good move. That oh. might be a hit. miss, yeah. It's so close because those last. I feel like the last frame of those zooms is always invisible. So, if the last frame puts you off to the left, you you didn't really, you can't really notice that. So, I think it's because the the inputs in this game are actually a bit uh, lagged, like by on their own. So when you the, the frame when you press is not the frame when you actually shoot. Yeah, I think certain. so, at least. But if you get out of zoom, like, your, your laser focus on that spot where you zoomed in beforehand. So, I feel like if you go out of zoom uh, to... Oh, so you're saying, like, leaving the... Releasing the L1 before yeah. shooting is, is probably a good idea? Yeah, yeah, that definitely. And then there's, like, leaving that zoom, there's one frame that you can't see from the game that makes this happen. Because it looked good. The shot looked good for me, at least. But, I don't. Um, think, I don't think so. It, it it looked like just a miss for me. But yeah, I guess I never thought of doing that. I, I think I might have a look into it. That is definitely too short. Okay, yeah. So now Minerva's getting a bit struck here. Let's yeah, see. I mean, it was hard to keep the pace with what was happening just a couple minutes ago. Yeah. That was like maybe my favorite three minutes of any game on Bridge the Gap. That looks good, but again, maybe too far to the right. Never mind. Yep. Gets the hit. This guy, this guy on 4 HP down there, he's proving to be a, a nuisance. Yeah, definitely. It must be frustrating to just like position there and then find that you're still potential hit. Okay, Herb is trying so hard to get that guy down, but he's not succeeding at it. Yeah, just go for another snipe, why not? Considering he's a sapper, it would be pretty big to throw him out without killing him. That looks good. Bang on. Bobby might potentially still have this. Yeah, I mean, if he keeps nailing those 40s with the sniper, I mean, the, the gunner is out of sight for both scouts, right? Probably, yeah. And he's gonna collect the mortars that this guy leaves him, so that's more ammo for him. Also, would be wise to get this gunner away from the border because he's eligible for a turn skip from 4 HP guy. Oh, yeah, he's definitely in range for a. May, maybe not definitely, but he could be in range for a poison. See what Bobby's plan is here. Might just go for yeah. Might just go for a safe. Yeah, we uh, saw we saw that hit 
uh, a couple turns ago. He tried it, didn't reach, but now it definitely reaches. Yeah, which is fine. The poison is not uh, guaranteed, so... Yeah, so it's a 1v3. Herpterp is out to collect the dust. But in a but in a good way, I guess. Yeah. Okay, it's... And yeah, now it's getting tough for... Um... For Bobby to get in, he's yeah. he two scouts, one saber that's barely alive. To be fair, he's pretty confident with uh, grenade launchers, which is something that nobody is. Yeah, but take that into consideration. You need five perfect grenade launchers to still kill this guy. So, I mean, the pressure is on Herpter because yeah. he's not hitting those shots. If he could only get that poison off, he would be able to just hide it out. Nah, it's not possible. Yeah, it's way too far up. But... I'm thinking from Herpterp's uh, point of view, he might just want to th try to throw the sapper down so that Bobby Holly only has two, one clear turn out of three from a guy above. And look oh, at this. The, yeah. the wall kind of saved Herpterp, but that was a beautiful shot. Gets his first damage in on this guy. This is where, if you are a good player, you just look at the arrow and memorize it. Because you're doing the same shot over and over, you need to get it on the second turn. Yeah, and you did the it this turn. time perfectly. And, yep. That exact, that's exactly what Herpter did. He got a 64 damage. Which uh, is a huge help for his chances to win. Yeah, at that point, take cover and go for grenade launchers yourself. I don't, I don't see how standing out in the open will do you any good here. Yeah, no, not even him, not even this guy can hit, can get a clean hit on, on Schnitzel. Yeah. Oof. Ah. And if Sly gets thrown down, then Herpderp is very much in the advantage. Let's Starting see. with the bazookas, now that looks very good, good. and that is a full 40. 104 damage in two turns on this scout for her derp, which right now are sealing the game for him. To be fair, at that point, can you go for breaking up your own crate on like your own box up there with the jetpack in it to, to to use it in the future turns? I don't know, like maybe place a TNT on the other side and let the scouts as well shoot at it with grenade launchers so you can get a jetpack out of that. Maybe. It's like very obscure and uh, might not even work, but... Yeah, Bobby pretty much using a turn to, to pick a position and then oh. in, f in two seconds he aims a perfect 30. How did he do that? Very good. Still keeps this spirit up. Also, like, moving every pick to the right side could... or kind of... What's the word? Um, yeah, to be fair, the, the, it did make Herpter miss the shot there. Yeah, if you if you move your pigs like in different positions, you can draw the scanner out fairly easy, easily. And look at this one. Okay, ah. it's only a ten, but imagine if that was another thirty for Herpter. It would have been so terrifying to suddenly have sixty HP more in a, after like a moment where you had the situation under your control. Yeah, indeed. Now he's down to three. Perfect. Grenade oh my god, I, I think a good idea like moving um, to the other side every time, it would be insanely it would be insane if you did that, but I think it would be a good tactic. This guy's done for. Oh! Ooh. Nope, Still he's keeps not some dead. HP. 9 HP. Oh, and that's the last guy down. No, no, there's uh, still a scout. Yeah, but all of oh, those no, no, are yeah, down Oh, no, no, that's now. right. He, he also <laughs> fell. I forgot about that. So, well, he has three, at least two turns if the gunner gets... Um, gets At least three turns, I think. Well, oh, well, yeah, definitely three turns. Uh, like, yeah, this turn three and two turns. more, yeah, if, if he doesn't get a double kill off, so... He so has could still potentially be done. That is, I think, enough. enough to bring him... No, not no. to bring him below 50. That's if 760. Sorry. It helps out if you need to readjust, but 
if you don't do full damage, but... I don't remember where the scout is, but I think there is potential for a double hit. That could be yep, one, yeah. It, and that oh. it is! That is a magnificent double kill from Herpa. Yeah, and at that point, what do you do? Like, Herpa can just come up to you and shoot you in the face, and that's it. That's true. So... Uh, yeah, you need at least two turns to get rid of this guy. Wow. Okay. Uh, he's still hitting them like a pro. Is he... Okay. Uh... Ooh, Herp Derp, don't play this game. Still don't gambling. play this game, you might regret it. I mean, he still has at least one extra turn after this. And that's okay, a hit. Okay, that's uh, 19. So he's down to 12. <sighs> yeah, but... What can you do? I mean, yeah, Herpderp hasn't shown any sign to, uh, like, any will to come down, so you might as well just keep hitting and hope he doesn't. Wow. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, Th does he have a jetpack? Oh my god! Now Herpderp is forced to hit this, oh, or god. Bobby will have a chance to win! Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. This game has been proven to be incredible so far, and that's a very tough angle to hit. Yeah, because you don't even see him. But that, that looks, looks good. good. That looks perfect. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so scary. But we are going to game three, everybody. Indeed. Incredible matchup. Like, definitely the best map I've seen so far uh, this year in the exhibition series. Most, most definitely one of the best bridge the gaps I've ever seen. Yeah. All right. And now we are going to decide everything on Pigs in Space. See you there. And we're back for the final map. Um, yeah, it has been decided already, 2-0 for Raptor, but... Um... Yeah, yeah, for some reason we were both convinced that, that like, Bobby had won map one. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the previous uh, mission, uh, mission there. And uh, yeah, now we're going for final one, Pigs in Space. We see Herpderp going with a very classical lineup you would see on um, uh, on Pigs in Space. With the Medic, Para first to get get the uh, drop off with the jetpacks. And uh, Bobby going with Medic in third and uh, having to choose... Uh, well, not having to choose two, uh, not, two more gunners, but... Um, funnily enough, both players have uh, decided to go with four gunners. Um, it is very much in their character, so yeah, both I'm have, not surprised. Both have dropped two paras in favor of two gunners. Okay, two paras is definitely an interesting choice, though. Yeah. I would expect her to drop a scout or something. To be fair, like, paras are the second lowest HP class, so there's yeah. something there, but due to their I guess... big damage output... I guess so. It's just uh, I'm very much convinced that paras are the hardest class to master if you want to be like a competitive player, because you have to be so efficient with your jetpack usage. Yeah, there's like multiple uses for them as well, like not just simply doing extra damage, but putting them close to it, grouping up, um, putting them into water, into minefields, um, breaking up momas, and... and... There's, there's definitely a lot of potential for Paras, so... Maximizing that is very key, getting into Pro League. Yeah, it's because... Um, it's the only class where you're not forced to do one thing at a turn, so... By, you know, by logic, it's the hardest one to manage in 30 seconds. Yeah, adding like another one, uh, another turn, like only the medic has one on default, you get mines as well. But uh, adding those also strains your time management, so people with good time management will uh, succeed there. Good 50 again. Yeah. The shrapnel. Or just people with good, a good knowledge on how jetpacks work. <laughs> yeah. But it's no rocket that science. Um, I know, I know. Uh, th that's that. That is extremely funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did not even realize the pun there. Did oh, you? I did. I did. Uh, it was intentional. 
Oh. Also, we are also standing next to a rocket. So. Yeah. <laughs> the funky hit. Uh, but to, to to answer to your uh, to your pun, uh, yes, but actually no, because it is very hard to judge how and where to shoot a, uh, a jetpack from in a short amount of time. I find that a lot of people aren't able to either, like, do it fast enough or just do it at all. Yeah, it's it's a thing I would suggest for new players to get into. Nice the, heal, by the way, there. Yeah. Nice heal there, and again, doesn't go for the other medic. They've kind of been neglecting that uh, strategy. I mean, fair enough. He's next, and uh, Bobby probably isn't uh, an estimator of the MoMA thing. Yeah, but it's just. Uh, I mean, I mean, nobody is. So. But then Except now maybe I would by. put my focus on this guy. <laughs> but seems like he uh, tends but... his focus to some other guy. Yeah, it, my, the point my, the point of my sentence was is just uh, it, it's an it's a tactic you have to be forced in at some point. Why not use the flamethrower? It was right there. It was even kind of going for it, but still good. Eh, it's a decent hit though. Yeah. Wow, that was a fifty-four, a fifty-two damage. Yeah, definitely some extras there. It's good to hit like not full power on these. Um, but pr and more... I guess he also didn't want to get close to the water himself. Yeah, like like hitting, uh, I've said this before, but hitting low power bazookas seems to always go for like a half flip of the pick, so it always looks to the other side of the water, which makes your pick turn, ma makes Ooh. the enemy pick turn around. And... Looking to do a very hard double poison character here. There's a crater right in the middle, but yeah, that doesn't scare him and gets a pretty nice double. Moves from her trip so far, but well, he has kind of missed some opportunities uh, and hasn't focused the medic at all. Like he doesn't really care. He focuses the gunner instead, which is one of the classes of all time, of course. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to use that meme. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, getting the heal off, Herpter. It's been, it's been getting the bomba. Yeah, has been very uh, proficient with the his tactics, putting out the the all reliables, and they have worked so far in this matchup. I mean, the thing with Bobby is that he is clearly probably the most experienced guy, like technically. Oh yeah. But if he does get his game, if it is tactical game, uh, uh straight you could be uh, uh, an amazing player yeah it might also be down to like you 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 see like players like uh, candy of course who has uh, avo avoided competitive for um oh and that's a nice move oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a course, fox the... move like lowering the angle because of the uh, less time but yeah back yeah, what i was saying Bobby... um the, 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 it's since he's such a trick shotter, you don't you get lost in your thoughts, I guess. I, so, I suppose. Meanwhile, uh, Herpter shows that he's very up to date with the, the, the jetpack trick. Oh, yeah. On water. Although, since it's Herpter, it might be like he was up to date before it was up to date, since he is the wiki. I guess so. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't but as far as I know, Herpter is. Mm -hmm. uh, almost always up to date with the competitive matches, so... Okay, yeah. that was... It's just that I wouldn't put it past him that he already knew about this, but maybe didn't see the appeal or the usage. I suppose. It's also possible because that he did know it, but he didn't think, like, he didn't make the connection, oh, this is actually useful for competitive. Yeah, if you're, slow, if you're low on time, yeah. And, uh... There's a couple of things that I that made me go, oh, why didn't I think of that before? Exactly like that. Yeah, and Herb Tip not letting up looks like a very. It's this match. Uh, this map is also going in his favor. Yep, looks like it's going to be. Uh, I won't say clean, but a three 0 
Yeah, it was very close on um, Bridge the Gap, of course. The gap. Which, it was very much expected with these two. Yeah. Uh, then there's the grouping up. Sadly, the... Oh, uh, yeah, will you go for a grenade launcher? Yeah. I guess. It's, the worst, want to... it's the worst class for grouping up uh, damage, but... Well, you can still get, get a pretty decent hit, and he, he absolutely did. Yeah. Well, though unlucky, this guy's next. Uh, you might want to self-mortar here, and... Uh... Although I don't think that's a move that Bobby regularly goes for. A kill range mortar about or it. a self kill mortar. A self kill mortar. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, okay, he's going for body block, which is okay since that guy just took his turn, which means that he will be able to hit both. And also, that's a that's a, was a very good bazooka kill. Yeah. Gets the kill off. Maybe one more extra damage would have been beneficial for this guy, but... Oh yeah, if you head jump that gunner, it's kind of hard to make him skip. Although, a scout <laughs> is sitting right next to him, so five head jumps is probably possible to do with him. To be fair, bodies, uh, Bobby seems to have focused like um, getting the kills in, so there's no heals available. Like, he, you could see he couldn't, the medic couldn't get a heal out just due to... I suppose so, no I suppose so, yeah. And it is a tactic sometimes to have, like, focus one pig and one pig only. To have, uh, to try to block the medic, the enemy medic in a situation where he can't hear. Yeah, I found this. But uh, I think Bobby, more than anything, is, uh, like, I don't want to say forgetting, but maybe he's not focusing on the right pigs. Like, the right order of kills. Yeah, he's just going for... Easy damage that he sees, which is fine, I guess. It, yeah, it's, but uh, priorities are some what sets apart some games. Yeah, it's, so. this might also be something that you want to pick up if you... Like, in Grunt League, this might work out very easily, um, due to players not having that much... Although, uh, it is experience. very much possible that he's just playing around because... Uh, oh, yeah. Hatterp and Bobby are two very good friends, so they're pro probably just laughing it out each other at each other in uh, in a good way, of course, yeah. in voice chat. Yeah, it could also be the case just going at it with just fun moves, just having a bunch of fun with this. Well, if you, if we're going by that uh, middle point, middle game, and bridge the gap, then uh, <laughs> yeah. I would have much suggested they were going pretty try hard, but. And okay, gets this guy to safety. Yeah, in a, in a more competitive setup, you would like. Could be another. No, okay. Not this time. In a more competitive setup, you would go for like lowering your pig's HP to 15 on both of those guys to. Yeah. To have that uh, potential turn skip taken away, and yeah. Oh, really? Makes sense. It gets the gunner into a turn skip range and. Well. Oh, unlucky though. <laughs> yeah, that, let, that's... let me let me think about it. If he had hit him, oh, Bobby would have potentially skipped three times in a row. Yeah, it's the gunner after the medic that just took his turn, or just skipped his turn. Um. And also, Herpterp would have had the chance to like do four head jumps with this guy, and then do something else. It would have been a massive turn so that guy's still up there yeah it's still up there it still seems pretty healthy i can't quite remember if he took some hits yeah that's Oopsie. that's due to input i guess it's very hard Probably. to judge and yeah, that guy's still fairly healthy Oh, that's a that's a mistake. Oh god! You don't want to yeah. use a jetpack for a twenty-three health guy, especially if it's your last one, and you could definitely kill him with a I bazooka. I mean, if you do the head jumps. <laughs> On the other hand, I think I w made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, f fair game. Although you still need to pull off three head jumps and a jetpack in thirty seconds. That's and tough. a bazooka. And gets the bazooka off as well. So very good one for. Don't get me wrong. Amazing turn there. Uh, 
probably better to just stay up there and do it another time. Yeah, or, or just focus on the scout, I guess. The, po the scout seems to be very the biggest threat right now. The medic is out of tranks. Wait, the medic oh, is out but, of tranks. But, but, yeah. Herthrop just remembered. Yeah. Herthrop just remembered. <laughs> If he doesn't kill him now, he's gonna get a chance. Or no, maybe there, there's a there's a sapper too. First. Oh no no no, that's true. That's true. The medic went before the sapper. Yeah, now it's uh, this. Now it's pretty much over. Yeah. Although I don't know, magic shrapnels. I mean, he only has one though. Yeah. Well, he only needs one if he dies anyway. So. Let's see, oh, maybe... Oh, for the medic? I think so. Mm, makes sense if you want to avoid the it, healing. It is but... a correct call, yeah. He only has one. Woo! Okay, let's That's see. A bit too much of power, but gets the okay, shrapnel. Okay, but in. he does get the backwards hit, which yeah. is, uh, I think it was a, like, 20-something plus 20. Yeah, 40. So, yeah, but here comes the healing, and, well... That is it, yeah. Para has no tools to avoid losing this anymore. Oh, yeah, just doesn't have any damage, any high damage weapon to do anything. Uh, by the way, is this the only map in the pool left that has no crates? No. Uh, I think we talked about it before. It is... Uh, Graveyard Shift also has, doesn't have maps. Okay, yeah. Um, to be fair, Herbdrop did make a positioning mistake here. Oh, that's gonna hit the wall, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Back up. It's... Trying stuff up, I see. Well, fair enough. Seems like a very uh, fox mortar style shot. Like, no trees available, but a space station. And it looks pretty good. Yeah. Right in the middle of double 33, Bobby has some. Uh, Random, crazy good, like, satisfying ma math moments. <laughs> yeah. That's only the strategy that's a bit lacking. Or maybe he will pick up the strategy in his... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I guess it's uh, a bit of a lack of actual competitive game games that uh, uh, has given him a bit of rust. Herpter tries to go for the double, but one is going to be enough. The sapper will skip. Yeah, and maybe uh... maybe the rust will wear off in the... Uh... Grunt Lake, then. I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, okay, that heal is just... I thought he was gonna heal him. <laughs> just the enemy. To be fair, fair game. Wouldn't change, <laughs> wouldn't change much, so... And that is a pretty easy rifle burst. Oh, maybe it will bounce off, though. I've seen... Or I've maybe s just get inside. I've I wanted to see it. Yeah. I want to see it as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen... Uh... Non craziest stuff happen with those space stations. Yeah, but this uh, this is the last turn for Bobby because then then it will be a clean snipe, and Herthrop will take the win three 0 Not a, not the result I was expecting, but uh, Herthrop has played very very cleanly, so uh, in, in the entire best of three. So yeah, it's more of a yeah, Herthrop showing that he's still uh, still shows why he's in the Pro League, and less of a uh, yeah. Bobby has underperformed. Bobby has been very good in this match, I must say. Very looking yeah, forward yeah, yeah. to his uh, performance in the Grand League. Yeah, like I said, uh, Bobby is very good technically. He just needs to get up to date a little bit with his uh, priorities more than anything. Oh, gonna trick something like that. Are you sure? I am... Fairly sure Herpter knows how to do it. He's not just doing it for funsies. But I might be wrong. It looks overshot a bit. That's like two to three ticks in the angle. But what do I know? Maybe he hits this perfectly. Never mind. Oh, yeah. It was overshot. Yeah. Well, seems like we want to prolong this game so far. Well, there has been talk about this angle bar. Uh, I, I think Revan has a strategy for... They have a machine gun, which could do extra damage, but since this is the NTC version, uh, or like emulator settings might change it, that makes the angle look different in certain settings. Also, that was a pretty 
colorful way to end it. Just aimed the bazooka straight down, and while charging, it changed it to all the way up. <laughs> yeah, one last swing with the. Um, Literally bazooka. one last swing. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, very entertaining match, I must say. Yep. Um, I'm still going to say the second one was the best one, like, without a, any doubt. Because the uh, first one was pretty taken by uh, lineup advantage. Third one was pretty much Bobby focusing the wrong pigs, although hitting very hard. Bridge the gap was just downright crazy. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Herb Derp confirms his uh, Hogs of War League status. Not that it was in any doubt. But Bobby will have to prove himself in the next Grunt League, which, by the way, we I don't think we ever said it on the channel, will start June 5th. Yeah, right ahead. Recording this on 25th of May. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to newer players. And, uh, and there will be many. Yeah, and also like fan favorites coming back, like Fab and yep. Pegasus, and um, and Bobby, and Bobby, of course, and of course the uh, devastating guys from last last Grand League. Yep, Agar, Mephisto. We still we also have the other um, guys that did pretty well: Metal Man, Zuyo, uh, Looney, and I think yeah, that's it. Well, um, for the guys that participated in the previous. Oh, yeah, also Raven Crown, which didn't make it to the playoffs, but he also com comes back. Yeah, and then barely... there's a bunch of new guys that uh, you will get to see. Indeed, indeed. So, yeah. If you care to join us for that discussion, you can join us on the Discord that has been linked in the description. Yep. And, yeah. Any last words? ADB? See you next time. Okay. No, I guess uh, I, we said everything, so... Then yes, we the just, last words uh, are, see you next time. <laughs> see you next match. Okay, take care, guys. Bye-bye.